Education Galaxy presents Solve Area and Volume. Today we will explore how to solve problems involving finding the area of a variety of shapes and the volume of rectangular prisms. Shapes are all around us. Look around. What do you see? I see rectangles and squares, which are special rectangles, and triangles, and trapezoids, and even rectangular prisms. Let's review some of our formulas for area. The area of a rectangle is length times width. Sometimes the dimensions are called base and height, so the formula is A equals BH. The area of a parallelogram is also its base times its height. And remember, the height is measured at a 90 degree angle. It's not the slanted side. The area of a triangle is one half times its base times its height. The area of a trapezoid is the average of its basis times its height. So the formula is A equals one half times parentheses B1 plus B2 close parentheses times H. The volume of a rectangular prism is the area of its base length times width times its height. You may see the formula written as V equals L times W times H or V equals a capital B times H and the capital B stands for area of the base. Let's try a practice problem together. Doreen is going to plant a small garden in her backyard with her kids. The length of the garden will be 24 and 1 4 feet and the width of the garden will be 10 feet. If 3 fourths of the garden will be vegetables and the rest herbs, how many square feet of the garden will be planted with herbs? First, we need to draw a diagram to represent the problem and write our formula. Next, we need to substitute in our numbers for length and width. Since 1 fourth is 0.25, I'm going to rewrite this mixed number as a decimal. I know that to multiply a whole number or a decimal by 10, I simply move the decimal point one place to the right. So the area of my garden is 242 and 5 tenths square feet. This is not the final answer because we want to know the area of the section of the garden planted with herbs. Since three-fourths of the garden is planted with vegetables, that means that one-fourth is planted with herbs. So to find this area, we simply take the total area and divide by four. Let's try another problem together. The Aqua Arena Aquarium plans to install a new aquarium that has a base shaped like a triangle, shown in the diagram. If the area of this triangular base is 60 square feet, what is H, the height of the triangular base, in feet? Let's write down our formula for area of a triangle, then substitute in the numbers that we know. We have 60 equals 1 half times 16 times H. Well, 1 half times 16 is 8, so we have 60 equals 8H. We divide both sides by 8 and get our value for H. When we do the division, we get the value for h, which is 7 and a half feet. Let's try a problem involving a trapezoid. K has a doormat shaped like a trapezoid. The dimensions are shown in the diagram. Find A, the area of the doormat, in square feet. First, we need to write down our formula. Then we need to identify the parts in the diagram. Remember, the bases are the parallel sides, and the height is measured at a 90-degree angle. Next, we need to substitute our numbers into the equation. Following the order of operations, we add the two numbers inside the parentheses first. Next, we'll multiply 1 half times 5.4, which gives us 2.7. When we multiply these two numbers, we find that the area of the trapezoid is 4.86 square feet. Let's do a volume problem together, then you can try some problems on your own. Brent is designing a block of modeling clay that will be shaped like a rectangular prism for his company to sell, shown in the diagram. What is the volume of this rectangular prism of clay? First, let's write down our formulas for volume of a prism. Next, let's substitute our numbers in. When we multiply the first two numbers, we get 36.1, and when we multiply this by 6, we get our volume of 216.6 cubic inches. Now you're equipped to calculate the area and volume of the shapes all around you.